Hey everyone, I'm excited for today. Today is gonna be pretty cool, different. little different flow today. We're gonna be having some guys come in to do some welding on the planter, put some pretty cool upgrades on this area right here I talked about in a past video. Wait till they get here, talk about it a little bit and see what them guys know. Should be pretty exciting, but right now I'm working on just cleaning up this whole area, get the excavator out so they can pull their truck in and get to work. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit of touch up when we're done. Just don't look at this thing because it makes you nervous and you lose the train of thought. Okay. Actually, just look at me and make it seem as normal as possible. All right, well, I don't know. All right. So, or they are here to install this kit onto our planter. What is the name of it or name of the company that you guys work for? And what is the purpose of what we are going to be installing right now? We are working for LDM Ag and we'll be installing a weight distribution kit for the 1770 here. And what is the benefits of this kit for the planter for planting conditions? What is the benefits of it? Uh, what it'll do is because the mainframe of the planter is so heavy, it'll actually push down on the wings and take some of the weight off the mainframe and make the, all the row units play evenly. So you get less weight to the center, which I would imagine is great benefit for mud holes also. Not yeah. that you, not that we plant in mud. <laughs> but definitely would help in muddy field situations where you're in a spot that you don't want to be in to help lessen the weight behind the tractor and put more of the weight towards the outside so you may not get stuck as easily along with compaction on headlands is what Dave said. Yep. The boss, the guy that sold this kit also to us. So that is just a little bit of what these guys are going to be doing today. And you're going to spend your whole weekend here, or at least your Saturday, right? Yep. Yep. How many hours do you think you're going to have invested? Uh, we normally get one done about 10, 11, no. 12 hours, something like that. And it takes that long because you have to three pass the well. Yeah. Well, it's also with putting all the hoses on. And yeah, generally, you know, by the time it, we plumb, plumb it and paint it. And they were amazed that we did this much ourselves. So, so yeah. it might a lot have... of times we come here and it's, <laughs> they got a lot of stuff on it. And we got to move it out of the way. But this, this one's ready to go. All right. Well, let's get to it. You've been scratching my planter. Yeah. Is that a discount? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so those cylinders have pressure to them all the time then, right? Yep. Anytime the tractor's running or just when the planter is in the position? Yeah. Their welder is so big, it's dimming the lights in here. I've seen that. Somewhat concerning to me. I hate going out there with this because everyone stops and just looks at me. Oh, yeah, I don't know yeah. why they look at me. Well, it kind of looks like a big raccoon is going <laughs> to attack, is what I'm thinking. Look out. It, I will Look choke out. you out. <laughs> what is your feelings about this kit? Are you excited? Do you think it's going to benefit you? It's all so new to me. I guess I didn't know they made the deal. But if I understand correctly, this is really difficult. Here, let me sit back. <laughs> yeah, if I understand correctly, every time the planter is lowered all the way to the ground then, it hydraulically forces no, the wings down. I think there's power. Lifting up on the center of the planter. Well, there's power to it all the time as long as your hydraulics are energized for the delta force and as long as your planter switch is switched into plant mode instead of transport mode. When you turn it to transport mode, it kills all of the flow to those cylinders. Because So when you turn around on the headlands, then it's also putting pushing down on the wing wheels? Yes. So that you spread out the weight? Yes, because okay. that's where they also want benefits so that you don't pack down the seed that's already been planted on the headlands. Do you think a guy could put another wing wheel on? Well, I suppose maybe they could weld that up too. Where are we going to find a wing wheel? Say that ten times in a row. Wing wheel. Wing? A wing? I do not like looking directly into that camera. Don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to go home now because I'm so nervous I can't think. I'm just going to keep it rolling until you freak out. <laughs> I missed a spot. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> 
<laughs> there you got it. <laughs> well, it's Saturday morning. It's time to go check on the guys that are welding on the planter. They stayed there pretty late last night, I believe, but they're from central Iowa, so they have nothing to quit for, I guess. They want to get their job done, get home later tonight. want to get home so they can uh, be with their families, which I don't blame them. So they're actually been at the farm. It's 8 o'clock about now. They said they were going to be there around 7. Hopefully they like the hotel they got to stay in. I've they're not here yet. Well, that's okay. We can look at what they've been doing. So here's what they're installing. They're installing these big brackets on here at the hinge point. This is where the wing hinges and uh, flexes. Basically, they're gonna be putting a big cylinder in right here, which is back here. What this system does is it runs on continuous flow, which we're gonna tie in with our little generator here. This creates a 12 volt power for all of the precision drive units and the delta force. We're gonna tie in right before that, which will give continuous flow to these cylinders, which are right here. And it's gonna put continuous force down on this wing and also on the other wing, which lessens the load in this middle area where all of the weight is located. So that will lessen that load there and off of the hitch somewhat. That evens out the weight of the planter because these wings are a lot lighter obviously than where all the seed goes, which is why like older planters, the single box planter was a lot better for weight distribution, which I can't say that word for some reason today. And that's what this kit basically tries to do is to help lessen that load. So anyways, if you guys are interested, the link will be in the description and possibly the Facebook page. Not sure which he likes people to contact him on the best, but it'll be in the description if you guys are interested in doing this. I know it's pretty close to planting season, but there's always next year. Anyways, so these guys that are here welding, they actually work at Bauer, the company that designed the Bauer bar before they sold it to Deer. They actually work at that company still. They are certified welders. They do know how to lay a bead down. It's pretty nice actually. Look at that. I wonder if they teach me how to weld like that. So basically they weld this piece across here so that when they're welding this and heating the steel up, which if you have never welded before, steel likes to heat up and warp a little bit. So they weld this beam across until this piece of metal cools. Then they grind this off, clean it all up, make it look pretty again. This is just to keep this from spreading so that this pin stays nice and loose like that. I can about imagine if this would get sprung, that would cause a lot of trouble with uh, hinging and not getting the pin in and out. So the really cool thing about this kit is that anyone can install it. I probably could have installed it after seeing what this all looks like. It really is easy to install. It's grind the paint off. Just set her on there. This even has a little ledge right there that this piece sets on. The only thing was our welder wasn't big enough, so they didn't really feel comfortable having us weld it with our little 210 welder. They're using a 350 is the welder they're using, so a much bigger, hotter weld. So you guys could actually buy this kit, weld it on yourself, save a bunch of money. Or you could find yourself a welding shop that would do it too, a local welding shop. Uh, they're centrally based in Iowa. While well, there's a lot of farmers all over, I don't know how far they'll want to travel. But after looking at this kit, it's super easy. I mean, it's just a bracket on each side. And the email that he sent me out, it's got really good detailed pictures of how to do all this actually. Looks overwhelming when all the pieces are in a pile, but only goes on one way. Is there a swarm of bees in here? Sounds like an angry swarm of bees.
Yep. More stuff to grease. Yeah, make sure you grease it a lot. <laughs> yeah, one time. <laughs> Ready for Iowa. Thanks for coming guys. Have a safe Have trip a home. Yep. Thanks for doing a good job. Yeah. So there you go guys. This kit is completed except for I have to run some hoses from this precision box to energize that up which it just needs continuous flow. I'll show you the valve that controls it. It just constantly keeps well, the gauge says 800 to 1000 pounds is where you want to keep it and it will continuously keep that pressure to this wing, but will still flow back. So if it starts pushing up, it'll keep 800 pounds of pressure on there, but it'll still flex. So it'll just return the extra oil, which is super cool. So you continuously have that flow. As long as you're in plant mode and not transport mode, which you can't plant unless you're in plant mode, you will be energizing pressure to those cylinders which is great because it alleviates weight off of this and puts more weight out on these wheels. This side's done also. We just have to put our hoses back on, which they put these brackets here on. So your hoses reroute around that. Now the only thing that they did say that could be an issue is fertilizer tank. The fertilizer tank could be an issue for height here, these components. So they thought because we homemade these stands that they sit on that it's maybe high enough that it won't affect it, but some factory John Deere tanks have an issue and have to be raised a little bit so that that fits when it folds up against there. The other thing is here is this valve. Here's where I got a plumb hoses to my pressure, but you just set with this set screw here from 800 pounds to 1,000 pounds is where you want that gauge to run. Obviously, the more pressure, if you're at 1,000 PSI here of hydraulic, you're putting about 2,200 pounds on each wing. So that's alleviating weight off of the center section. They said if you're running liquid, run about a thousand pounds. If you're running no liquid, just seed, run about 800. Somewhere in there. So that's pretty cool. It's missing a hose. You figuring it out? I took apart that side and I got that side back together. I took this side apart. I chose. <laughs> Reassembling. This side is pretty much totally reassembled. It all works the same here on this side. This side just avoids the cylinder area where it used to run, goes over here, and then it, into that bracket also. Otherwise, it's looking like everything is gonna work out, except we might have to add on to a couple of these. Got a little short now. We'll see. But we're thinking we would have had to do that anyways because of the precision box. Hose might have been a little short anyways, so not blaming it on this kit. <laughs> gotten shorter for some reason. I don't like these red balls. That's what these are called. They're so filled with fertilizer and white calcium. 
you can't see it, but there's little red balls in there. And the supply line comes, goes in there. Red balls float when it's going to that row. That's how you know if they're plugged or not. Eric's mother called him, told him to watch the YouTube video because he doesn't even watch them. <laughs> Fast planting, here we come, or whatever it was labeled. That was pretty good. <laughs> it wasn't really good, it was only pretty good. I can see how much work it takes to make Chet look good. Uh huh. And probably I, even more for me. It's a full time job. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Look at this universal joint. <laughs> Look at this. Buy them on Amazon. I don't like that. <laughs> if this goes on YouTube, I will steal Toby. <laughs> So we have pretty much here, got this thing put back together. Precision has come out, do some testing, cycle the hydraulics on the Delta Force, make sure everything's working. We are still waiting, obviously, for one cast wheel there. We do have some furrow force parts that they're gonna put on here. But for the most part, this is basically what it's gonna look like. So I know a few of you last video were wondering why we didn't complete it. Well, it just takes time to keep my video's on schedule. Now we are here, we got it to this point. Precision, I believe, is coming back tomorrow. So we'll get this thing test fired up and that might be in the next video, I'm not sure. I think I got enough footage for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and please check out our sponsor, Egg Chemical Solutions, and get yourself some cheap chemical through them. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you guys should follow us. Our links are in the description below. So is all of the links for this information if you guys wanna get yourself a weight distribution kit. See you guys.